I'm Molly with Design Loves Detail. Thank you for tuning in today. Welcome to my channel where we share the best deals for your home. Um, today we're gonna be talking about paint colors, which is one of the top asked questions. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified too of our next videos because there's a lot of exciting content coming your way. I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite paint colors that I've used in my own home to kind of give you a better look at how they are in action. And be sure whenever you guys are doing uh, paint colors in your own home to paint samples, kind of narrow it down and then paint them on the wall because the lighting in each home and um, each room, in fact, is different depending on what direction it comes from and it kind of changes seasonally as well. So definitely paint a sample to make sure that it's the right fit for your space, but I'm gonna share some of my very favorites that I hope will also be good for you. So for my basement, I used, um, the main wall color is Benjamin Moore's uh, White Dove, and I've used this in a few different projects. I'll put some images to show you kind of how it looks. And it is a very nice neutral um, off-white tone, and it's a little bit lighter than what I used upstairs, which is Benjamin Moore Swiss Coffee. Both of those colors I love. I wanted it a little bit brighter downstairs, so I went a shade lighter basically. And then the Swiss coffee has kind of a richness to it where we get so much natural light upstairs that the, the Swiss coffee doesn't get washed out. It kind of it keeps, um, it maintains a little bit of color so it doesn't just feel white. And then this color here um, is one of the accents I use for my basement and it is on my son's bedroom wall, which I shared. Uh, and then also on our kitchen cabinetry down here and then these doors. So when I use paint colors, I like to kind of have a palette for the home and tie them throughout in a few places. I probably told you guys that before because it's so, for me, so important to create kind of a zen feel where it um, flows throughout the spaces. And so this color is called um, no, Duxbury Gray and it is by Benjamin Moore as well. It's got um, kind of a blue-green undertone, a little bit more like how I've paired it. Um, it leans a little bit more to the greener side, but still just a really nice, rich tone that kind of has some depth and dimension and change in the color, depending on what you pair it with. So that's a great accent. And then upstairs, my main color that I used is Booth Bay Gray, and that's on my front doors, my kitchen island, and my son's nursery wall. Uh, those were kind of, and actually on my pantry cabinets as well. So those four places I kind of carried that throughout as an accent. That one has a little bit more of a blue undertone, still kind of the blue greens, but a little bit more leaning to um, the blue side. And you'll notice that all these colors are gray, Booth Bay gray, Duxbury gray, they, they're called grays because they technically are a gray tone, but most grays really have an underlying color tone. So I, I look at grays as an actual color and they're a great way to bring in a subtle color tone. Sometimes people think they want a blue wall and so they go and they buy a blue paint and usually on the wall it looks even more blue. So if you can find a gray tone that just has a, you know, a nice strong um, undertone of blue or green, uh, those are my two favorites anyway, then they can really act as a color on their own without being overwhelming. When it comes to selecting trim color, Sometimes people wanna just have it match and kind of blend into their wall, which is totally a, way to, a good way to go. You can, you can definitely do that. Um, another thing is to just kind of take a, a slight contrast. Um, for me, I kind of like that. I did a crisp white on my, my trim, um, my, some of my accent uh, molding upstairs in my entry here. I have the white as well, and this is Benjamin Moore Super White. So it is one of the purest whites out there. It's just really, really white. Um, and it, it gives a little contrast with the warmer white, so you just see a slight difference there, and it feels really fresh and, and crisp. That's uh, also on my uh, shiplap around, that goes around my stairs. I also did that in the, the brighter white. And some people are afraid to mix uh, cream tones with white tones, but I don't think you should be. I do it all the time, and I like, I like that subtle contrast. It's kind of a tone-on-tone -tone look, which is very current and, and I think really timeless as well. So, so that's what I use most of the time for trim is the Benjamin Moore Super White. And I do, when we're talking paint sheens, I do like to have just a slight variation in those as well. I love more matte looking paint. So for the walls, I usually use eggshell finish. And then for the trim, I will go with satin. That kind of gives just a slight difference, but nothing major. And it also, uh, the higher the sheen, basically, if you have a little bit higher sheen, it will 
clean better. The more matte you go, it, you know, the more fingerprints and things will show. Even though that's the case, I still prefer um, the eggshell and it's not terrible. It's not like a flat paint. Flat is what you're gonna use on the ceilings. Um, and, and basically your trim will just clean a little bit better in the satin versus the eggshell. So, and that's where you're gonna get a lot of where maybe the dirt is gonna build up and things too. So you wanna kinda keep that easy to clean. Another accent tone that I am loving right now is kind of a putty um, grayish tone, which is Benjamin Moore's Hazy Skies. And this one you can see on our banquet seating um, in the dining room in our downstairs family room that we just finished and also in my son's room on the built-in. So that's kind of a nice um, accent to break it up. And a, a lot of times people will just go white on built-in pieces, but they do show dirt a lot. And so if you can go with a color that has a little bit more depth to it, like this one, this Hazy Skies, it will really make your life easier. And I love the way it looks. It's really a pretty crisp look. Another thing to talk about is doors. Sometimes people ask me like, oh, do you like painted doors? And while I do like doors that are painted color, I use them more as, as an accent rather than like throughout the home. Um, at least that's my personal taste. I just did white doors in the super white to match my trim. So they kind of blend. And then the ones that I want to be like a statement maker like these, then I will add that accent color. I did that here. I did it um, for the door going into my office. That's in the Booth Bay Gray. That's my upstairs accent color. I did it for my master bedroom closet doors. So the ones that kind of are statement makers, like these are bigger, they have a little more detail. My upstairs accent doors are the ones that have glass in them. So they really can, can be more of a separate statement maker. And um, really I think that paint colors are just something that you should use almost sparingly, like use sparingly because you want them to be kind of, you want them to have a punch. And so if you overuse color, it just makes everything like kind of, I feel like saturated and overwhelming. And so using them in specific areas where uh, it really makes a statement is the way to go. And I think you can make a big statement um, with really just a small detail like that. Hopefully this helped answer some of your paint questions. I know that I get so many um, different questions on this topic. And I'm excited to have shared my favorites with you guys so you have a little insight into what uh, colors might be great to start with to try out in your own home. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of our next videos and I will see you then.